Right, Peter, this has been very much your regatta for the last 10 years. I mean, after all, if it hadn't been for you, there wouldn't be one of these, would there? Well, I mean, partly me, but it's very much a, you know, a, a team effort with Louise, who's done the, really done the hard work on keeping the class running and, um, you know, keeping the website up to date and hassling the regatta organisers and what have you. But, and also there's been fantastic support from, you know, a, a huge number of owners. And, um, you know, those that can afford to help have helped and those that can't have been helped. So it's been, it's been a good revival, but they're just such fun little boats to sail. They're just horrible little boats, but they're just such fun. And it's also given you an opportunity to fill your trophy cabinet, hasn't it? And you think about it. What is now? This is the fourth one this week? Yeah, I mean, it, it is. And, um, you know, it was really close. I mean, it was, we were behind after day one, and then we got one point ahead after day two, and today we had a reasonable couple of races. But, you know, you, you miss a shift or you miss a mark and you drop five places just like that. It's very, very close. Very, well, these very boats close. look so wonderful on the water too, don't well, they? Well, they've got character, haven't they? Oh. I mean, they just look, you know, there were, I think there were, there were 20 different designers out there today, and you just don't get that in any fleet anymore. When you, know, when you look at the names of the designers of the boats um, and the provenance that those boats have got and the history that they've all got, you know, the current King of Spain's boats here and all sorts, they're just wonderful little classic boats. Well, yes, there's no more of this stamp out plastic all alike stuff, is it? No. Everyone's different, but, you know, they all go much the same speed. They do. Yeah, they do. And some are stronger in the light airs, and fortunately, we're a bit stronger when the breeze comes in. And as you get a bit older and a bit fatter, then it helps a bit, but that's the way it goes. Well, normally you wouldn't be on your knees praying for wind, would you? No. Not, not no. when you're getting older and no. fatter. <laughs> all I was doing praying this morning was for some more neurofin to stop the knees hurting, but. <laughs> Anyway, well, that, that's it. But you must be very happy with yes. the way the class is going. Yeah, very happy. I mean, you know, there's a lot of good people out sailing, um, a lot of good people from lots of classes, and a lot of people came up and just said it's currently it's just the best sailing in the Solon. I mean, you look at the results, and I think there were half a dozen dead heats, um, and today I think there were four seconds and five boats. Um, so it probably is. You know, you've got some. You've got some world world class yachtsmen out there. I mean, I'm fortunate that I've had the same crew now for seven years, and uh, so we know each other and we know the boats pretty well. And I started sailing quarter tonners in 1976, I think. So, <laughs> well, it's a it's a long time back. We've all been around in them, but good return for the for the sponsors of the regatta. You think? Yes, I mean it's a it's a great deal. You know, we don't ask too much, and therefore they keep coming back and. Um, you know, coots bring their customers down and and they really enjoy the day out and I'm sure they're not quite sure what, what's going on. But we've got some pretty interesting owners who could in the fleet and um, you know they, they sort of mingle quite well. So it's a good it's a good blend and I think if you're not greedy as a as a as an authority and the sponsors are not looking for too much then it, it's ongoing. So And you're all enjoying it, that's the main thing, isn't it? To yes. enjoy it. Yes, yeah, it's great fun. I mean, it is great fun. You know, I've done some big boat sailing in the last few years and, you know, I'm not sure I want to go and sit on the side of a boat with 24 people where there's two people pushing buttons and 18 people carrying sails that you need to pick up. But these things, it's full on, you know, and um, they're pretty unstable, as we all know. <laughs> um, every one of us has ended up upside down at some stage, but... And you've, and you've kept your old crew too. I have, yeah. I've got the same crew. You know, Kelvin Rawlings and I have been sailing together since the Admiral's Cup days in the 70s. So we've got thousands and thousands of miles under our belt. Well, yeah, the belts are getting bigger, but they've still got thousands of miles under the belt. And, um, you know, Jules Salter I've been sailing with for 15 years and Jason the same. So from the old indulgence days. So, yes, it's just, you know, my old friends with the emphasis on old. And you can come out of it with a smile on your I face. I do, I do. <laughs> Wonderful, Morty. Thank you. Thank you, Bob.